Hi! Earlier in our previous video sessions, we showed you how Cluster Control manages the failover on a PostgreSQL cluster. Now we'll show you how to handle a switchover via Cluster Control. So there are two ways to access the switchover mechanism. One, uh, you can go to the Nodes tab here. And two, you can go to the Topology tab here. So what are or how you can access the failover? So uh, let me show you. So earlier uh, in our preview video sessions, uh, the 40 was actually the master, uh, but since we tried to kill it and uh, failover uh, occurs, so that 50 took, took over and that 60 uh, switches over uh, to that 50 as this master. So you can actually access the switch over by here, and then you just have to click the promote. So clicking the clicking this gear icon, and then click the promote slave. So, so for example, in this scenario, you want to uh, you want the dot forty to take over again as the desired master, but we'll do that under the topology tab. So let's go here. Just click the promote slave. Let's just confirm it, and go to the uh, open activity viewer. Let's see that what's actually going on. Okay, here. So let's wait for a while. Okay, we're back. Uh, so. The switchover is finished and done. So let's inspect what's actually happening. So let's go over here. So that 40 was uh, the uh, or is the desired master that we want to promote. So it tries to promote the master. Uh, stops the dot 50, which is the current master, and then stop all the nodes uh, dot 50 and also the dot 60, as you can see here. And then here at this at this part, uh, dot 50 has been. Uh, Promoted, so promoting host using the pg underscore ctl uh, promote uh, command, and then uh, here uh, that sixty is trying to sync with uh, that forty, which is actually the desired master that we wanted to promote. And then goes here, uh, it tries to create a recovery dot com from that sixty because uh, as you might know, the if you run pg rewind, it will uh, uh, it will overwrite the recovery dot com. Uh, here, so uh, also uh, please note that if uh, if you're using the PostgreSQL uh, 12, uh, that could be uh, uh, going to your uh, PostgreSQL.conf. Uh, Otherwise, it can also go to the PostgreSQL.auto.conf, which actually cross control is uh, doing that. And here it goes here, so it tries to start the nodes on that 60. Start the nodes. Uh, stop. Stop again. The or started at that 50. Here, creating some stuff here. Uh, tries to run a PG rewind, starting the scroll node, and then we started all the nodes, uh, including the that 50 which actually been demoted. And here it provides you an overview of how it does it looks like. So at here you can see the role that 60 is a slave, and then it tries to show you the 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 was that has have been uh, received or replayed. And here it's also the same thing, which is the dot fifty has been demoted, and then shows you also the dot forty, uh, which shows you also the uh, the current was that of this master is actually uh, replayed, uh, and then shows you that it has two slaves being connected, and then prom uh, prom slave promotion is done. So we we'll go back to the topology and how does it looks like? So it looks like this, and that's all. So also we should check on the nodes. How does it look like? And now we're in the nodes tab and so it's the master. That's uh, that's the promoted uh, master. The dot forty so looks good. Uh, also the slave, the fifty, which was the demoted uh, server, and also the other slave that uh, points to the dot forty as its master. So that's uh, simply it. Uh, okay, that's all. Thank you.